Four-wheel drive suspension is something that we all replace from time to time. It could be that you're towing, it could be that you're just looking for a little bit more ride height, or your old gear just might be worn out. But before you race down to your local four-wheel drive shop, ask yourself the question, how much do you really know about the finer points of four-wheel drive suspension? Today, we're gonna to run you through some of the terminology that relates specifically to four-wheel drive suspension, just so that you've got a clear understanding of what it is you're chasing, what you're after, and you're not gonna be confused by the bloke behind the counter. One bloke who's heard more than his fair share of doozies over the years is Simon from Tough Dog. Mate, tell us about some of the misconceptions you've heard when it comes to talking about suspension. Yeah, mate, the, big, the biggest one would have to be for us when, when guys are fitting the wrong spring for the application and you know, fitting a, a spring designed for a bull bar and winch and there is no bull bar and winch and, and the guy plans on putting it on six months. But mate, that leads to a lot of issues with breakages, wheel alignments, tyres wearing out and a really harsh ride. So that's why a measurement sheet is so important. Yeah, a measurement sheet's the very first thing the guy should be reaching for, mate, before they pull the car apart. Record those measurements at standard height and then re-record them again once the suspension's been installed just to see what the vehicle has done. Okay, and what's the process involved in filling out that measurement sheet? Just taking a measuring tape and measuring from bottom of rim to guard on all four corners of the vehicle, recording those measurements. So if there is a problem with the chassis and the vehicle has a lean, that we basically we can see what's happened even after we've fitted the suspension and if we need to swap the springs around to level out the vehicle. Suspension is a massive investment and it's something you don't want to get wrong. So how can you be sure that the bloke behind the counter knows his stuff and isn't trying to sell you a one size fits all kit? Simon, what are some of the questions that a reputable reseller should be asking? Now, the first one would be the application. What's a vehicle being used for? Is it towing a horse float or are you doing a desert crossing with the vehicle? The second thing should be thinking about accessories. Does it have a ball bar? Does it have a winch? Does it have a rear wheel carrier? Once we ascertain what product is on the car and what's going to be bolted to the car, we need to then fit the suspension once it's been accessorised to, to match the spring rate to what's being fitted to the vehicle. There's a lot of confusion when it comes to terminology in four-wheel drive suspension and today I want to set the record straight. Simon, I'm going to give you a few terms that are used to describe four-wheel drive suspension and I want you to tell me exactly what they mean. Absolutely, Rick. I'd be only too happy to. It'd be good to put this thing to bed once and for all. Beauty. All right, well, let's start with droop. Okay, mate. Look, the, the main thing we're looking for with droop is we want to make sure the suspension has 60 to 70 mil of droop from ride height after the aftermarket suspension has been installed. All right, one of my favourites, heavy duty. Yeah, look, the word heavy duty, mate, it catches us all. When a guy comes in and he says he wants a heavy duty suspension, we need to ascertain what he actually means. Does he mean heavy duty as in a strong suspension, or he's carrying a bucket load of weight and he needs a heavy duty spring? Certainly Tough Dog is a heavy duty suspension, that's for sure. No worries, all right. Another one that gets a lot of people, constant load. Yeah, constant load's a good one, mate. We do three different variants of a spring rate. Um, and again, it's matching the, the correct load to the spring rate. There's no point fitting a constant load spring, which is designed to carry half a tonne, and go ahead and fit that spring to a vehicle which is carrying no weight at all. Okay, and another one that I've heard from time to time is top out. Yeah, top out's a good one too, Rick. When we talk about top out, it's in relation to the shock absorber running out of travel and turning the whole suspension solid. And this is an absolute no-no, and it certainly does break any form of product at all. Mate, over the years, I've seen some absolute clangers, some things that people have done to their suspension in an effort to make it better, and I'm sure you've seen some things too. Yeah, mate, we have seen a few doozies, that's for sure. But one of the ones that sticks in my mind is the guy that drove up to the centre of Australia and uh, realised that by the time he'd gotten there, he'd collected quite a few things along his journey, and on his way back, stopped in at a service station, and actually filled his coil springs with tennis balls to set the ride height a little bit higher. Fair Absolutely. No, they're out there, mate. Absolutely. All right, mate, before we go, one thing I want to get from you is our top three tips on making sure you get the right suspension for your four-wheel drive. Yeah, the brick number one would be, do some homework on your car. If you've got a Land Cruiser and it's coil sprung, know it's coil sprung. Don't think it's least sprung. So when the guy behind the counter is talking to you about your format, you clearly know what he means when he says coil spring and shock absorber. So get your terminology right. 100% mate. The second thing would be, make sure you've accessorised your vehicle completely, or, or your near completion, and there's no further weight to go onto your vehicle. There's nothing, nothing worse than fitting a suspension today, and then going ahead and accessorising it some more tomorrow. Mate, number three would be, when you walk into a shop, make sure the product is a good product. Do some homework on it, see what awards it's won. The example, a Tough Dog product did win Shock Absorber of the Year a couple of years ago. These sort of things with aftermarket service, with phone call backup, and also too, if you're fitting it and you need some help, 
you need to be able to contact the guy selling the suspension and for him to make some time and be able to answer all of your questions. Absolutely, and warranty is a very important thing as well. Warranty is super important. Um, the, again, phone service is everything, and as you guys know, it's all about the service. Absolutely. All right, well, thanks so much, Simon. Well, if you'd like any more information on the Tough Dog product, simply go to toughdog.com.au. You'll find plenty of information there. Please join us next time when we start fitting up the suspension kit to My60.